Hear the stories behind the most interesting tech, told by the people who created it. And keep watching for a chance to win a bundle of Sony hardware. Well, the submarine industry, if you look at the, the history, it's always been something that has been dominated by government, researchers and the military, of course. Uh, what you can see with, with U-Boat Works is that we've provided an alternative. We've provided a relatively economic, uh, compact submarine that can be used by private people. So this is something that didn't exist before. Right now we have the opportunity to reach people with still deep pockets, but people that are also looking for something very exciting. Designing a submarine takes a lot of skill. You have a lot of uh, systems that comes, come together. Uh, think about the electrical system, hydraulic system, uh, life support system and everybody uh, wants to have something that's reliable and something that's proven and this design process takes well for a submarine depending on the size maybe a year one and a half year and then it involves a lot of testing so you go out in the field uh, test the system individually test the entire submarine up to the maximum operating depth and well then you will find out whether you build a good product or not the viewports of the submarine are made of acrylic. Acrylic is a type of plexiglass and the thickness of a 300 meter submarine is actually about 10 centimeters, so this thick. People want to see things outside and the acrylic is the best material. It's also the material that can be certified for this type of application. It's very interesting to know that the acrylic we use in the, in the spheres or the domes, uh, it takes a lot of uh, handling, it takes a lot of man hours to create something that perfect that it can be used in a submarine. Just to give an example, they need about 200 hours of hand polishing on each side of the dome to make sure that it's transparent. Uh, one of the most important characteristics for the submarines at U-Boat Works is that the people inside have the best undisturbed view possible. So we've done a few smart things. First of all, this acrylic sphere is completely made of one piece. Then also the, the side components like the diving tanks, they're made in such a way that the refraction of the light in the water, the, the, the diving tanks will completely disappear. So people will have this panoramic view and they will have the idea they're floating in an aquarium. In terms of safety, what some people forget is that in these type of submarines, the pressure is always one atmosphere. And this is a very, very nice feature because you don't need to worry about decompression or getting the bends. You can stay down as long as you want and go up straight to the surface. So that makes it very safe to, to dive a submarine. Submarines are considered one of the safest modes of transportation actually uh, when compared to other vehicles. Plus if something happens we have provided a whole array of safety features. Think about for example safety buoy that you can release when you're diving and you can mark your position and they can pull you out with a crane or uh, we have a tracking system so they always know where you are. Uh, and in case things really go wrong we have 96 hours of life support which means you can stay underwater for four days until somebody comes to rescue you. So actually driving the submarine, anybody can do that, but it comes down to learning how it operates in case something goes wrong. So we have to teach people the, the procedures for emergencies and to do so, our training course is two weeks and that will be one week of theory sessions, classroom sessions where we need to teach people about the, the systems on board, uh, and one week of practical sessions in which they do a minimum of 20 dives. So about 70% of our markets will be yacht owners that have the submarine on board for fun, but some of them also buy the submarine to provide something extra in case they charter the yacht. If you look for example at the Super Yacht Sub, this is a three-man submersible that has a standard depth rating of 100 meters and it starts at about 1.25 million euros. People can actually decide with this submarine to upgrade it later during the lifetime to 300 meters um, for a little bit of extra money. But uh, the high end of the spectrum is the Sea Researcher and the Sea Researcher can operate up to 1700 meters and then you're looking at a price tag of about 3 million euros. The maximum depth that you can reach on Earth here is about 11-12 kilometers and that's the Mariana Trench. And people have been there twice, James Cameron and Don Walsh and Jacques Picard in 1962, I believe it was. So it's pretty unique to, to go to these depths. I don't think most of our clients need to go there, but there's certainly some uncharted territory that needs to be explored. Uh, u Works standard range of models goes up to 1700 meter, but the technology is there to go deeper. And if the demand is there, we'll have a look at it and see what we can do. 
Whatever your lifestyle, you need a device that can handle your daily routine and the same ever-changing environments you go through. With the highest waterproof rating in their class, both the Xperia Z3 and Z3 Tablet Compact from Sony can survive in up to 1.5 metres of water for 30 minutes, striking a great balance between design and functionality. And because they're more durable, it means you can be more adventurous, watch TV in the tub, take calls in the rain, or even take underwater photos and videos. And accidental dunks and spillages? Not a problem. It's the extra attention to detail that makes the Xperia Z3 and Z3 Tablet Compact truly slick Android devices that are more than capable of handling everything modern life throws at them.